Hi everyone, welcome to another marvelous video. Ever since the release of Batman Beyond Neo Gothic last September 2023, DC can be seen expanding its territories in the futuristic storyline of Batman Beyond. We're all aware of the origins of Batman Beyond, aka Terry McGinnis, and how he became the successor of Bruce Wayne in carrying the mantle of Batman. The era he represents is a futuristic world where Bruce is old and eventually dies, leaving the burden of saving Gotham to Terry. Terry had his own set of rogues to fight and defend Gotham from becoming a hub of chaos, but amongst the new array of characters, we often wondered what happened to the other DC characters in the era. Are they old? Are they no longer into crime fighting? Or have the heroes lived long enough to become twisted villains? Batman Beyond Neo Gothic is a series that gives us glimpses of characters from the era of Bruce Wayne, especially the wrath of the famous John Constantine. John is old and has been evading death for long. However, his true motives in the series are twisted indeed, and a magician of such power can certainly bring too much for Terry to handle. So without any further delay, let us dive into exploring what happened to old man Constantine. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. The Final Days of John Constantine John Constantine was one of those characters in the DC Universe who, despite being identified as a crook, often played a crucial role in saving the world. When all efforts of the DC superheroes went in vain against supernatural threats, it was John whose extended help prevented the reality from ending. In the live-action movie of John Constantine, played by Keanu Reeves, and also in many other iterations, we have often been notified that he did not want to die and his place was always reserved in hell. At some point in his early days, while exercising an evil spirit from a young child, he had summoned a superior demon's help which ended up killing the child, and the sin confirmed his place in hell after death. Throughout the rest of his life, he imprisoned more than many evil spirits in hell, and so the last thing he wanted was to die and reach hell. Although the Batman Beyond Neo-Gothic series focuses on a group of missing children from Gotham, it all ends up with John Constantine's story and his ways of evading death. Gotham's Missing Children Issue 1 of the comic series begins with a group of kids sneaking out of their homes in the middle of the night. They ran across a shady place adjacent to the Fox apartment building and met a humanoid cat who allowed them to pass through a gap in a mysterious wall. Once the kids passed through it, they found themselves in a lush green garden with ripe fruits. However, as one of the kids grabbed the fruit and tried to eat it, vines from the garden grabbed and restrained her. Soon, the rest of the kids were also restrained and slowly consumed by the garden, while the humanoid cat watched in horror. The new of missing children soon reached Terry, following which he dived into the case to find him. Terry's Journey to the World Underneath Gotham Terry began his journey traveling through the depths of Gotham City, first encountered a humanoid cat whose name was then revealed to be Kyle. Terry started to question him, paying for each answer until Catboy got irritated and left. However, when Terry switched to Batman Beyond and stopped him, he agreed to escort him to the levels beneath at the rate of 100 creds per level. As they reached the next level below, they were stopped by a gang. However, it took little time for Batman Beyond to neutralize them, and the first hurdle was crossed. In the next level below, they were attacked by Killer Croc, who was then guarding the tomb beneath. Terry, in fear that Bruce might have hidden something from being unleashed on the world. Croc was more significant than his usual size and seemed to be quite a bit of a challenge for Terry before Kyle used his magic to put him to sleep. The two moved further in search of the missing children and arrived at the entrance of the Court of Owl's old headquarters. It was dead silent, with fungi-covered masks attached to the wall which soon started glowing. Believing the garden to be nearby, Terry led the way deeper while roots and tendrils from the adjacent walls tried gripping and restraining them. They arrived in the Court of Owls chamber with fungus-infested zombies of the long-diseased Court of Owls. A spooky and mysterious voice spoke to them. It stated that Kyle had knowledge about the garden and had been hiding it from Terry. A shadowy figure emerged which resembled that of Batman. For a brief moment, Terry believed it to be the diseased Bruce Wayne before it revealed itself to be the former Talon. The vicious entity attacked him and stated that the garden had opened their minds and the Court of Owls would soon take over Gotham the way they were destined to. It also added that the garden needed the children. The creepy entity had weed and maggots covering its body and was extremely powerful. While Terry kept his ground, Kyle was frightened and stayed hit. In between blows and punches, Terry demanded Kyle to reveal the truth that he had been hiding, following which he finally spoke. 
John Constantine, the old magician and trickster. Using his magic to shield both Terry and himself, he stated that he had learned magic from none other than John Constantine. This was the first time we got a glimpse of an old John Constantine. Bruce had previously mentioned John to Terry, who he thought had died, which in reality was wrong. John Constantine had leveraged every death of his into a few years in his soul and collected external curses and damnations. He had found Kyle on the streets and extended his help. He taught him magic and finally rested in a garden of light at the end of his god. Kyle was tricked and left with all his curses on his life. He had purposefully orchestrated the event of children being sent to the garden so that the news would bring Terry and help him. The concussions and mysteries were certainly unfolded, but the mysterious Batman-like creature which the author later identified as the Batman Beneath was far from being subdued. When it caught Terry and was about to kill him, the labyrinth, placed with explosives by Terry, exploded and collapsed the very foundations of the bomb. Terry and Kyle kept falling deeper into the void beneath while while the Batman beneath disintegrated into spores, rained on them, and covered them completely. In the next moment, Kyle and Terry went through a series of hallucinations. Terry found himself in a frame where his younger self kept apologizing to his mother. The dreams kept changing and he found Bruce Wayne and Matt in one of them, followed by his girlfriend Dana, before landing into Kyle's hallucinations. He saw everything John Constantine did to Kyle. Batman beneath emerged from the skies and attacked him. Terry blocked and after grabbing Kyle, he encouraged him not to fear all of this. He made Kyle re realized that it was all a hallucination and that they were still stuck miles beneath Gotham. Soon, everything faded away with Terry and Kyle hugging each other. Surprisingly, they found a garden around them and a few voices talking to them. They stated that they were the garden, protectors of the innocents and what would be coming after the fall of Gotham. The voices were revealed to be from three plant elementals, Swamp Thing, Oracle, and Poison Ivy. Glimpses were shown about how the kids that the garden consumed in the beginning of the first issue were transformed into seeds and preserved safely. A fight broke out between the plant elementals and the duo. Terry planned to fight the elementals and asked to go and find John Constantine's corpse. His attempts to find John were futile, but Kyle managed to find the missing children enclosed into seed-like structures. He was soon confronted by Oracle, which ended in Kyle putting her on fire. Constantine was finally revealed when Terry cut a tree open. A grotesque figure of John emerged and Kyle, being furious at what he had done, charged at him furiously. After an exchange of arguments, John revealed that all this was an attempt to save the children. He stated that the world above was soon to be destroyed and he was trying to save the kids. This was in reference to the events which were taking place in Gotham. Donovan Lumos, also known as the Holographic Man, was ruling Gotham after taking over Wayne Enterprises and after the case of the missing children, he accused it to be because of old buildings in the city. Through the comic series, it can be seen that Lumos was destroying Gotham and transforming into holographic projections. Soon after a massive explosion, the garden was unleashed into the surface of Gotham along with the roots, Killer Croc and the zombified Court of Owls marking an end to the issue powers and abilities. Along with the suspense of what is to come after the wrath from beneath Gotham City is unleashed, the true potential of Constantine is yet to be revealed in the comic series. However, with a brief appearance of John in the series, one could easily notice his ability to control the greens as well as shapeshift. When Terry goaded him to reveal the truth behind his actions, Constantine shapeshifted and covered Terry and Kyle under him. Marvelous Verdict We've finally come to the end of this video, and we hope you liked our content. Batman Beyond Neo-Gothic is a fantastic comic series from writers Colin Kelly and Jackson Lansing, and it's a smart way to illustrate the futuristic threat of Gotham City. Making John Constantine a part of it was yet another brilliant move, and we're yet to know what his true motives are. With that said, we will be ending today's video. Feel free to add your perspective on the old and deadly John Constantine, and stay tuned for our next Marvelous video. If you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.